Hello, this video will help you understand how we have set up Module 1 in the NNU Online course template, as well as subsequent modules. First, let's take a look at Module 0 again. We have a deadline early in the week for students to read the syllabus, perhaps uh, take note of Canvas features, and introduce themselves to each other. After that deadline early in the week, you can start setting up your content deadlines. It doesn't have to be a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday setup, but we do recommend that you have at least two deadlines in your week. Um, so that's what we have in the template. So let's take a closer look at the content for Module 1. Notice that everything is numbered and goes in a, a really easy to see order for the students. In the module overview area, you would list whatever the objectives are for the week and maybe describe the topics in a sentence or two. And then you can include a checklist if you wish, but what we have on that module page really kind of serves as its own checklist. So another checklist is not particularly necessary. You can certainly add it if you wish. We do request that you have a devotional each week. It doesn't have to be a discussion forum, but we have set up for you uh, generic devotionals for all eight weeks or seven of your course. They go out to the Our Daily Bread website and then, then in this first week, we include instructions for how students can create an embedded link, such as what you see here, so that other students know which devotional they actually read. There are links to other optional devotional sites for you to use as well. Next is a reading and resources page. This is a way for you to provide context for your students to accompany whatever readings you want them to do. There's a place for you to list at the estimated time. Uh, we encourage you to use a rule of thumb of 200 words a minute. Um, that is based on some very informal um, anecdotal research, let me say, of 200 words a minute for the average college student. So after you uh, list whatever reading you want students to do, you could list terms to know or concepts for them to make special note of. You might include a PowerPoint presentation, uh, links to optional resources. Uh, so whatever you include on this reading and resources page, it's kind of intended to be a one-stop shop for what you want students to interact with content-wise for this portion of the module. Next is a check for understanding. This would be useful if you are maybe using publisher content and you want students to go out to use the flashcards or interactive exercises. We have this set up as an assignment so that students could give you a little bit of feedback on what, what they learned in the check for understanding. You don't have to use this formative assessment if you do not wish. Then we have a discussion forum post. Again, you would customize the timing here and maybe the due dates. I encourage you to briefly describe whatever topic you've been covering and then enter an actual discussion prompt. You may customize anything that you see here, but it's mostly common sense and it includes a lot of links to helpful information for how to use the discussion forum. Feel free to customize the number of points and there is a rubric available and you can customize that as well. You'll want to build in a place for students to know that they need to reply to the discussion forums and you may customize this as well as you see fit. If you're using a group study guide kind of assignment, give students some direction on how they're going to go about doing it. Uh, again, you customize as you go. If you're maybe having a writing activity, 
You can customize these directions here as well as the rubric. Notice that we do have resources listed in here. NNU has an online writing center where students can actually work with NNU students who are tutors uh, to take a look at their work. And then there's a reflection and evaluation survey. The NNU online office does take a look at these, usually after the course has ended, but this helps us uh, with documentation for how well the program is doing. So that is a quick look at Module 1. Let me quickly show you Module 2. You would have much the same kind of consistent layout here and maybe students would be submitting that group study guide in that second week and so this includes directions on how to do that. Notice that for the placeholder for the quiz we have quite a bit of information in here including how to get an accommodation if a student has a disability and um, information on how to actually take a quiz. The subsequent modules in the template uh, have just the basics that you might include. Uh, take what you want to use and discard the rest. If you want to remove something, you just go to this gear icon and say remove. That would simply remove it from the module, but that page would still exist within the pages area of the course. If you decide later you do want to use that page, it's there for you to find. Another way to get rid of something is to actually click on the item and then up on this gear icon, click delete. If you have any questions about how these modules are set up or how to customize them, please contact us. Thanks.